Producing a comic book series on your own requires a mix of several software tools. Here is a video that looks at the benefits of each program. Number one is Sketchbook. Working in this program feels a lot like drawing on paper. Brushes and pens behave like their physical counterparts. The interface is clean and unobtrusive. You can also tuck tools and palettes out of sight until you need them and focus on drawing. Early in the software's development, there were a lot of user-contributed brushes. The software has changed owners, but it is still a dependable little app. I created many of my pencil drawings with it and nearly all of my inked panels. At $19.99, artists are purchasing a great tool that works incredibly well. At number two, we have Clip Studio Paint. It is ideal for drawing, painting, and inking. The program is easy to learn and has many tools and custom brushes. The library of content that can be uploaded into this program is amazing. It even includes 3D models of characters, items, and backgrounds that you could pose and angle to use as visual references. The license for Clip Studio is $49.95. Adobe Photoshop comes in at number three. Most people watching this video understand the value and capabilities it brings to creating art. I accomplished all my color flats and final breakdowns in this program. However, after working with Clip Studio Paint, that likely will not be the case much longer. Still, Photoshop excels at graphics for print production, one thing that the latter still lacks. Number four, we have Adobe Illustrator. This is going to be a healthy list. Perspective illustrations, vehicle design, logo design, page layout, voice and dialogue boxes, plus so much more. I could and will produce a whole video on vector versus raster graphics and when to use a program like Adobe Illustrator. Moving on to number five, Adobe Acrobat. Uploading to publishing sites like Amazon require an assembled cover and spread set an exact resolution. You can easily accomplish this task in Adobe InDesign or Acrobat. I use Acrobat for simplicity's sake. Coming in at number six is an app you might not have heard of. It is called Font Forge. You can purchase a lot of quality fonts for lettering comic books. It definitely would be easier to go that route, but I want to letter my own comics. So this open source editor was perfect for the job. If you liked this video, please subscribe and share. If you don't like this video, thank you for hanging around so long. You can also enjoy the first chapter of Time Ejects by checking out the links below.